Jordan has a scrappy round of golf, and you're probably going <laughs> to need one the way the conditions were today. Yeah, I actually drove the ball maybe the best of the year today. Yeah, um, gave myself a lot of chances with yeah. some wedges, and and um, there's a lot of back pins, and just got a little tentative for a few holes, and then I decided to attack one on ten and flew the green, so it was just kind of like couldn't quite get my distance control down on some scoring clubs, but when the wind here is gusty like that and the and the green depths are so small, it's it gets really, really tricky. It doesn't take much, and um, keep driving the ball like that. I feel like I can fine-tune some of those scoring clubs and maybe get a few more looks. Speaking of adapting to this golf course, you knew they were going to try and soften these greens a little bit. Yeah. The forecast of the wind, was it adjusting to the speed today on the greens? Was that an issue at all, just trying to kind of figure out what they were going to do? It was the entire issue on the yeah. difference for me from yesterday to today. I mean, I had, you know, if I hit 18 putts, you know, 14 of them weren't tap-ins, and 11 of the 14 were short. So I just left. If they were missed low, it was because of speed, and um, a couple were on line short. So that was that was a little frustrating because they still look they, – they almost started to dry out, but then they weren't speeding up. And that's a weird combination for us is, is kind of glassy but slower. Yeah. Um, and I didn't make the adjustment today. So we're going to get some rain, it looks like, tomorrow. I don't know when, but um, – They'll be able to, I think, speed them, speed them up a little bit, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we're able to get these two rounds in with, without too much, uh, too much of a delay. But it seems optimistic, given that the driver was acting. You can figure it out on the greens. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I um, up and down on 18 was big. It's nice to shoot under par, even on a day where you felt like you had to kind of get it around. And um, it's a tough track. I mean, I, 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 I don't think I lost any ground shooting one under, but in order to to go out and capture it, you know, you got to do a little bit better than that on the weekend. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Hey Jordan, just one or two more from yeah. Hey Jordan, uh, I'm curious if you are a type of player who thinks about peaking four times a year. Like, do you subscribe to that thought process? I have in the past, and then I would say over the last ten years, it's just peak when you can and try and keep it as long as possible. Okay. And then last thing is, like, where on the journey towards peaking do you feel right now? Um, I have clarity on how to get there, and that's really what's important in the game. Um. I know what I need to do to get to the best the to to get to my ceiling, best that I can be. Um, it's hard to progress significantly in some ways while I'm playing tournaments, but it's also hard to get game action at home mm -hmm. when you can kind of really try and force some things an extra ten percent. Um, but on and around the greens, I feel like I'm there. You know, I have rounds like today off the tee where I'm there. Um, but then like the approach game and the wedge game, which has been pretty solid, wasn't quite. So it's like to get it all really consistent, you know, I just feel like I'm at this point, I'm not focusing on one thing. It's like, Hey, what's off? Let's spend a little extra time doing that. And, um, so I, I think the clarity is what's important in trying yeah. to figure out how to get to where you're peaking. And, mm -hmm. um, and then once you're there, it's about picking a plan that maintains each facet of the game while also saving energy. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's tricky. Yeah. Thank you.